Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a friendship bracelet using a homemade loom. So you just want to start with a piece of cardboard. Lay something round on it and trace around it. Next, you want to cut it out. It doesn't matter how big the circle is. The next thing you want to do is draw a line through the center of the circle. And then you want to draw a line through the center of the circle going this way. And then draw another line and another line. So you just want an eight piece pizza drawn on there. Try to get your lines as even as possible. The next thing you're going to do is cut a little slit in the circle on the very edges right at the line. It is about a half inch or less. The next thing you want to do is poke a hole in the very center of the loop. You don't want to shove your pencil all the way through. That'll make your hole too big. And you want to write your name on your loom as soon as possible. Have Ziploc baggies for your students to store their supplies in. Next, you want to choose seven different colors. So I chose these colors. I'm just going to grab the end of all the colors Once you have the end of all seven colors, you want to tie a knot. I like to call this knot the water balloon knot. Just wrap it around two fingers to form a loop. And then put all the ends through the loop. So you need a loop on the end of your strings. Then you can measure out about three feet of string. The next thing you want to do is stick the knot through the loop. I'm sorry, stick the knot through the hole in the middle of the loom. You may need to use the pencil to help shove it through. Then you're going to stick one string through each that you cut in the cardboard. So it's gonna look like this with all seven strings in a slit. You actually cut eight slits in your cardboard loom. You're gonna have one left over and that's okay. Next, you want to think of the empty spot as zero. So this spot right here is zero. And then you're going to count to three. So here's zero, 
one, two, three. You take the string at slot number three and stick it through letter, um, number zero. You start at zero, right here. One, two, three. And put it in the slot. Start at zero. One, two, three. And put it in the slot. Every time you do this, you need to straighten out your strings because they will get tangled up. I drew an arrow on here so I knew which way to go in case I put this away and get it out again later. So this is zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Make sure you straighten this out as you go. It's gonna look like a jellyfish for a while. Zero, one, two, three. Once in a while, you have to pull on the strings that are coming out of the bottom. You need to go till it's about six inches long. If you go longer than that, it's going to be too big. And if you go shorter than that, then it's probably going to be too small. Unless you're doing this with pretty small kids, but that's not recommended. This is more of a fifth grade and up pro project. So I would say definitely make them keep going till they get six inches done.